Hi, I'm Andrew Muirhead and welcome to our video blog. I'm responsible for the product division original equipment innovation here at Lufthansa Technik and today we're here in our composite repair facilities which is part of our part 145 repair operation. In this facility we repair radomes, we repair thrust reversers, engine nacelles, composite equipment that goes into the aircraft. And in this facility there's a lot of skilled people and a lot of fantastic equipment. And because of that, we figured that where we can repair things, we can also manufacture. We have a Part 21G manufacturing license, and we're going to use this facility to now manufacture some exciting equipment, which we're going to talk about today. So this beautiful radome here behind me is one of the creations out of this workshop. It's called TEOS, the two-in-one system. We call it TEOS because there are two antennas that go in there. The antennas can be KA band, KU band, or L band. We currently have STCs for this product on the BBJ-1 and BBJ-2 and it's also flying on other variants of the 737 as well. It's a pretty fantastic product and here you see it, uh, the composite uh, materials itself uh, which have been moulded and it's now sitting in a form which is being prepared ready for the drilling so that it can be put into the complete kitting system. Using our capabilities here in the workshops, the TEOS product is completely manufactured here in-house and I'd like to take you on a little tour today to see how we do it. So our first stop here is in the storage room and as you can see I've put my warm winter woolies on because it is really cold in here. It's minus 21 degrees and I've got my gloves on so I don't get frostbite because this is where we store the pre-preg material. So I'm going to take a roll and we're going to head off to the next station now and take a look at the rest of the process. So once the pre-preg material has reached room temperature, it's then placed onto the ply cutter, which you see here next to me. And the ply cutter, the computer contains all of the templates that are required that the ply cutter then cuts. And those templates are then used for the layout process, which you'll see next. So you've just seen my colleague Michael putting the pre-preg material into the mold. A mold such as this one, this is the TEOS mold. This is the mould for the radome itself. So in here is the pre-preg material and on top of it is the vacuum bagging material and also the fleece which is used to support the vacuuming process which we will see next. We won't go into detail on the actual uh, layup here because that's a little bit of a company secret. That's what uh, provides the structural soundness of the radome itself and the transmissibility for KA, KU and L-band antennas. So this is one of my favourite places in the whole process. This here above me is one of the largest autoclaves in the MRO industry. And this is where we put the mould in and under a temperature and pressure curve reaching 115 degrees Celsius and 1.2 bar, this is where the materials are cured and that's a process that takes around four hours. Now I'm going to get out of here at the moment because I don't want to be sitting here when that door closes, otherwise I'm going to be cooked and put under pressure as well. Once the unit comes out of the uh, autoclave here, we then match drill. So we put the drilling holes into the mould and this enables maximum interchangeability of the parts. Uh, so it creates a very modular kit. Uh, the rest of the parts are then manufactured and the whole kit is then assembled and taken to the paint shop. And after that, when the kit's completely prepared, it's then delivered to the customer as a complete TEOS radome kit with all of the parts required to install it into the aircraft. So if you're interested in the TEOS product that we've shown you today, it's available either as an initial installation, so if you don't have a radome on your aircraft, or if you currently have TEOS, the KU band variant, it's also available as an upgrade kit to KA band. If you'd like to see more, please come and visit us at the NBAA show in the United States or at the eBay show in Switzerland where we have TEOS on display. Otherwise, feel free to contact us via phone or email. We'd love to talk to you and tell you more. So I hope you've enjoyed our video blog today and enjoyed what we've had to show you here in the workshops and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you and bye bye.